This is Elpida. Her name means hope in English. She was born in the summer of 2011 with a very serious injury in her back leg. Since we don't have a veterinarian on the, on the island, we didn't know exactly what she had. We thought that her leg was broken at first. And so we tried to deal with it uh, by ourselves. But very quickly we realized that the problem was more serious because she had absolutely no feeling in the bottom part of her leg. And after a few days, a wound started opening in her leg, which with the time started uh, getting bigger and bigger and bigger until after about a month, the whole bottom part of her foot fell and she lost it completely. Like the bone was outside, you could see she had a huge wound which was about, about five centimeters high and all around her leg. So we then contacted veterinarians. Everybody was just telling us to put her down basically because usually when a horse has a serious injury with a leg, whatever happens, you always put him down because it's, the horse is becoming useless. You cannot use it for reproduction, you cannot use it for rides, you cannot do it anything. So people usually don't want to keep a horse that is useless. We, we could see that this horse was very lively. She always, since she was a baby, was very happy, was always eating, running, playing with the other horses. She obviously didn't want to die because, you know, animals, when they don't want to leave, they make it quite obvious. They usually go to lie somewhere and they stop eating. So we decided to keep her to try anyway. Over the next year, during the winter, we realized that even though at the beginning the wound started inf getting infected, I could see new skin forming at the top of the wound and slowly, slowly the wound was closing, which was really amazing because everyone was telling us, of course it will get infected, she will live at the maximum a few weeks or one month or two, but she will get infected eventually and in any way she will never be able to carry her weight as, a, as an adult horse. Which was really amazing is that after a year, a year and a half, the wound had almost completely closed. And during the next winter, it completely closed. So from 2013 on, we started looking for a solution for her leg, you know, because we didn't, we didn't have the problem of the wound anymore, but we still had the problem that she would have to carry her weight on three legs. So we finally found out about the doctor Periklis Nikopoulos, who is a doctor for humans in Thessaloniki. He makes prosthetic limbs for humans. And we found him through the organization SP, which takes care of um, abandoned horses and donkeys in Athens. He accepted to come to Skiros. He refused all pay for his work and he accepted to come and make a prosthetic limb for Elpida. So in the summer of 2013, he came for three days on the island with a, with a friend of his who was helping him. And on the first day, he made the prosthetic for her. And on the second day, she was already walking with it. So it was like a miracle for us. I remember from the very, very first time we put the prosthetic limb and she walked, we were all crying and so happy. And so that was... That was really, really nice. She could, she could walk with the other horses as if she never had any problem. And I think this is the very important message to pass to people and to children and to riders in general or horse lovers that it's not because a horse cannot be used that, it's, that it has to die, that we have to put them down. We can still have them as we have our dogs or cats and love them for what they are. We don't need to always use them. And I think that Elpida is a very good, uh, is a very good sim symbol of this.